Let's go. 
facility at the north side. And it looks like the entrance locks during combat. Wait for the enemy to stand down.
this is mine to do with whatever I do. Now, I would like to figure out how to get into a tank now. Also, there's probably going to be a boss fight in there, which I'm not excited for. You're such a good boy. Okay. It's not you, is it? Hey! It's just a machine. Okay. Are you... Dr. Emmerich. Snake? Hey, what gives? Ah, let me go! No! Give me back my legs! Right on schedule. Now bring him back to Mother Base. <sighs> okay, I'm sending a chopper close by. Get to the LZ with Emmerich. Hang on a second. Let's use the walker gear I developed to escape. There's a special one here at the lab. Only I can activate it, and I'll tell you how to operate it. Ignore Emmerich. We don't need his wind-up toys. If he has a long way there, why don't you use that walker gear of his? Sure, no I'm way. Not. We can't trust him. We how do we know his crap will even work? Well, it's better than carrying the man the whole way. Boss, use the walker gear to escape. <sighs> It's your call, boss. Well, Emmerich. I'll start it up. Get this off me! Here we go. They're single pilot machines. I'll whoa! Hey! Cypher's interest in it. 
animosity back. Nine years ago, we invited that nuclear inspection team to Mother Base. It was a ruse. They turned out to be Cypher's strike force. It was Emmerich who brought them there. He's been underground ever since, working with Cypher. I had no idea. I thought the inspection was real. I, I swear it. If anyone's to blame, it's you, Snake. We should never have had that movie. That's the reason Mother Base was destroyed. Arriving shortly at LZ. Cypher threatened to kill me. Made me do research for them here. That's right. Creating bipedal weapons. Nine long years. Forced to do whatever they said. for the LZ with Emmerich. Don't kill him yet. Not until we've gotten our answers. I'm stationed at LZ! Don't forget Emmerich. 
Hominids, it's a Sahelanthropus. How did they complete it without me? We'll hear the rest back at base. <laughs> Thanks. Chopper, dude. It's dead empty. The Theranthropus is behind a mountain. The chopper can't touch down because of plot convenience. Six hours, dude. I am exhausted. It's like one in the morning. <sighs> the Intel team's level 21. <laughs> I'm gonna dismiss the asshole who keeps picking fights. <laughs> Mission complete. I guess it all worked out in the end. No. I'm not a chicken, I swear. <laughs> Can I go to bed now? I'd be done. Is there a cutscene? Ah, oh, there's a cutscene. All right. Hey, Mark. How are you? Why do you suspect me? What did I do? I'm on your side. What about him? I think he's torturing him just because he enjoys it. Miller was in contact with Cypher nine years ago. He was working with them. He's the traitor, Snake! I don't think there is a traitor. What's that? More truth serum? No. Stronger truth oh, serum. Oh, please. Please keep me here. I need protection. Ah! Ah! Ah, truth oh. serum. Oh. Why didn't we do this from the beginning? Oh. Why? You're the odd one out. Why me? We all lost something. What? Except you. Lost his legs.
forgot your name again. I'm gonna call you Merrick. The truth serum isn't working. Yes, it is. Either some procedure he had done boosted his metabolic enzymes, or he's undergone special gene therapy. What's he saying? Same as six hours ago. I had no idea the nuclear inspection nine years ago was a ruse. He's probably telling the truth. Cypher forced me to do that research after the attack. Do you think he had a hand in it? No. I do. Yeah, because out of spite. But there's no proof yet. Bitch. Take a listen to this later. Oh, boy. We need proof before we can pass judgment. Thank you, Snake. Voice of reason. Keep an eye on him. And don't tell anyone he's here. And don't snap his leg off. We'll have him continue his research in there. <laughs> it's for his own good. The older guys will want his head. We can't guarantee his safety if we let him out. He didn't do anything. Boss. Side. Innocent until proven guilty. The assholes. He mentioned something interesting. The reason why they pulled their plug on the operation in Afghanistan. He said their funding started going to Central Africa instead. Cypher is pursuing new research in Africa. Africa? What research? Emmerich doesn't know the details, but one thing he said does make sense. A Sahelanthropus alone isn't enough to cause an RMA. What's an he claims RMA? that what they're doing in Africa is the missing piece. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Meaning it's not just another nuke. They almost ripped off his legs. Park. Nice. I don't care. Welcome aboard. I'm so tired. Dude, they almost ripped off his fucking leg. They were like, yeah, let me just... Some people are sadists. Boss, there's no doubt about it. Cypher's working on something in Central Africa. There's evidence they've been in contact with private forces operating in the region. We follow that evidence. We should learn what Cypher is after. Diamond Dogs has gotten a lot bigger. Good. Now's the time to take the offensive. Head back to the ACC for your next mission. Dude, I don't know if I want to be a part of that, but what I just Okay, I, yeah, I chose medical because hell yeah. Fucking hell, he just tried to rip that asshole's legs off. Alright, well I'm done tonight. I am exhausted. Well, I want to hear this tape, because if this tape is like, yeah, he did it, then fine, whatever. But that was insanely cruel, my dude. And after six hours of torture, don't you think the man would have said something or broken? That's missile blood. Welcome back, boss. Questioning you. It wasn't just Cypher. Back in the Caribbean, every eye in the world was turned on us. That's A true. private army. Just a bunch of guys with guns in possession of a nuke? Why wouldn't they be uncomfortable? That and sense. that's why you made sure the inspection happened. Well, I thought our best move was to prove to the UN through the IAEA that we had no nuke. Of course, I was against us having it in the first place, but that was Snake's decision. Yep. The boss wasn't responsible. Well, don't get me wrong, I, I still believed in Snake. I thought I was making the best decision for all of us, that's all. I figured we should get a third party to exonerate us before proof of the nuke did get out. And who better to do that than an organization with international authority? He's <sighs> wrong. So the truth is, you took it upon yourself to agree to an inspection arranged by the UN. Only the inspection was a ruse, and Cypher Strike Force XOF showed up instead. I had no idea that would happen. 
Enough bullshit. Oh, sure, like I could have known. Right. You know, I was just trying to prove our innocence to the world. What's wrong with that? We're not interested in the excuses you've thought up. The truth is objective. Just oh, see it from my point of view. You led XOF to the control tower. They seized it, giving them complete control over the base. Moments later, they detonated C4 on the strut legs. Anyone who'd managed to survive was hunted down by the assault force and their choppers. You can't believe I did that on purpose. That was the end of Mother Base. But it wasn't the end for you. How can you... Look, oh. think about it. I lost something too. I built Zeke and it got buried underwater. I am a victim. That raises the big questions. Why were you the only one spared? You got away without a scratch. Why did Strange Love leave the base on the eve of the inspection? You two were close. Strange Love? <laughs> and how did you manage to build something that surpasses Zeke in every way? Because you did everything they told you. <laughs> You're the only one who didn't lose a thing. That is the truth. Th I was taken away against my will. Skullface forced me to do his research these past nine years. He used me. I lost nine years. Nine years? We all lost nine years. It wasn't just you. I suppose blaming me makes you feel better, does it? But who's gonna give me back all the time I lost? You're not getting anything back. <sighs> You're not a victim here, Emmerich. You're the perpetrator. I didn't know anything. Nobody can back that up. Yeah, all the evidence is at the bottom of the ocean. You know the hardest man to break. The type who's fooling himself. That takes time. It's easier to live a convenient lie than a painful truth. Is that the piece you've chosen, Doc? I'm not lying. Of course. I believe Just let me check one or two things. On that day, you were in the control tower with him. Right. Lucky you. That's how you got out unscathed. And you escaped on one of their choppers. Only you, right before the base went under. They had me blindfolded the whole time. I've never been so scared. The whole flight, I thought they'd kill me. But, but thinking of you kept me going. My comrades, all the way. And? There was a plane journey, and then we traveled by road. When they finally took off the blindfold, I was in kind of a warehouse, on the floor. Afghanistan, it was that research lab. I couldn't believe they'd taken me halfway around the world. And soon enough, he came. Skullface. He's the one who's really behind that mother base attack. He forced me into that research. What kind of research? He told me to build a bipedal walking tank for the Soviet Union. Like Peace Walker. A system that could fire an ICBM-class nuclear weapon. That's how the Sahelanthropus project got started. Sahelanthropus. Those AI weapons I'd made in Costa Rica were like toys by comparison. A whole world apart from reptilian four-legged crawling and, and that ridiculous hunched-over bipedal waddling. My design evolved to the dawn of mankind. Sahelanthropus, the first steps towards humanity. An upright bipedal weapon system. Originally, Sahelanthropus was going to be a manned weapons platform. I designed a cockpit in its head and I planned to fill it with water as a buffering agent. Like how Paz modified Zeke for human control. Don't compare me to some amateur. I designed it for human control from the beginning. The problem was miniaturizing the posture control AI. You remember the reptile pod? The AI that controlled your unmanned weapons. Attaching it externally makes it vulnerable, so this time I wanted it beneath the armor. Meaning I had to make the AI smaller. I got it down to less than a tenth the size without any loss in computation speed. But it was still too big for the cockpit. There wasn't enough room for the pilot. If I made the head bigger, its body would have to be bigger to support it. Uh, too big to be practical. In the end, human piloting was taken off the table. 
I tested a remote control system, too, but there was the time lag, and I wasn't satisfied with its precision either. Plus, it would be useless if the enemy jammed it. So next, I went back to trying an AI-only system. To do that, I had the AI pods recovered from Nicaragua. This was a hybrid AI, a combination of Peace Walker's reptile and mammal pods. The only AIs that had ever successfully operated an unmanned nuclear weapon system. Really? Day, You'd need some help to get that working. Expert help. Did you work with someone? I worked alone. You did that yourself? <laughs> That's the thing. The AI didn't pan out in the end either. But I did finally get Sahelanthropus walking by folding over its upper body to lower its center of gravity. The first upright bipedal locomotive weapon system in the history of mankind. I guess technically it falls into the anthropoid ape category. I don't see the benefit of having it stand taller. On terrain with significant differences in elevation like Afghanistan, you need a body that's vertically adaptable. That also lets it attack from long range while using mountain ridges for cover. So, making it walk upright was the most important factor in giving it superior height capability. As the name suggests, that was the whole point of Sahelanthropus. By the way, may I just add that I fully believe him? And that if he truly was guilty, I don't think he'd be questioning us like that. I'm just pretty sure, like, Hillard, Hillard, good enough, is probably, he's very vengeful. I really don't like him. I was being pushed for results. Having the AI mounted externally would have been the fastest way to get it working. I just needed more data so it could maintain its balance. But Skullface refused to wait. He dismissed the idea of AI control and took Sahelanthropus away from me before I could finish it. But it was walking when it came after you. That's just it. I don't understand how Skullface got it to move upright. Without a pilot or an AI. And walking at that speed, too. It's beyond anything I could have imagined. This is like the Wright brothers making it to the moon. I'm just as clueless as you are. So this Soholanthropus, where is it now? I have no idea. All my experiments took place at that cave. I've never seen it anywhere else. Besides, it's still just an incomplete prototype at this point, and nothing but a paper tiger. Even if it can walk, it's far from being a viable weapons platform. It wouldn't be useful in actual battle. Emmerich will remain here at Mother Base for now, but not as a member of Diamond Dogs. I still don't trust him. That work for you? Fine by me. He can't be allowed any contact with staff either. Yeah. A lot of the guys would love some payback for nine years ago. We still need him alive. But we have to restrict his movements. He can only go where we tell him. And of course, the interrogations will continue. He worked for that skull bastard for nearly a decade. He still has more to tell us. How long are we gonna press him? If our investigation shows he really had nothing to do with the attack, We'll reconsider his place here, but I don't expect that to happen. Remember that water tank-shaped object in Emmerich's lab in the Soviet base camp? The thing that started talking to you like a possessed answering machine. That was a pod belt for housing the AI used to control unmanned weapons. You remember, back in 74 in Costa Rica. It was in those machines you fought there. They were designated pupa, chrysalis, cocoon, and basilisk and each of them was fitted with an AI unit called a reptile pod. Emmerich created it. It mainly handled the machine's posture control and autonomous behavior. But the Basilisk, AKA Peace Walker, also featured a second AI pod. That one was called the Mammal Pod, and it was created by Dr. Strangelove. She tried to recreate the boss's personality through the Mammal Pod, but you pulled out its memory boards. That's when it transferred its own functions to its reptile pod. Just like a human brain compensating for damage by using the remaining healthy parts. The result was a unique entity. A hybrid of the reptile and the mammal. It sank to the bottom of Lake Nicaragua with Peace Walker. But apparently they salvaged it and transported it to that lab. 
Don't let it deceive you, Snake. It may sound like the boss, but it has neither a personality nor a will. Okay. Like Emmerich says, it's just a machine. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was an interesting recording. So uh, until next time, we're going to see what happens. Dude, he almost snapped his leg off. That was brutal. Anyway, else, I will see you guys later. Bye.